everybody, welcome to my channel Widi Sasongko in Manchester United Fan Forum Indonesia. So this content is about Anthony Elanga that will be projected on loan for Frank Lampard's team at Everton and also a player suddenly appear on Premier League website. His name is Betinho, forward, 29 years old from Portugal. Is it true? Is it real? Let's check about it. Yes, people. Yes, people. What is going on? The first news is about Anthony Elanga. Anthony Elanga, he is projected on loan to Everton this January 2023. Why? Simple. Because he's not good enough. Well, as we know that Jadon Sancho is already uh, training separately from the team, he sent to Netherlands to improve his performance. Instead of those chants, Anthony Langa could not convince Eric Ten Hag to claim the spot at forward, especially at left wing forward. That is just failed to compete with Alejandro Garnacho. So you can imagine if Jadon Sancho is already back from Netherlands and then fight for the, the left wing forward between Jadon Sancho and Alejandro Garnacho, then Anthony Langa will be in trouble. Because if he compete at the right wing forward, he will be against uh, Anthony Santos and also Bruno Fernandes is also usually put in there. Not, not mention about uh, Marcus Rashford. He's still uncertainty also about his positions, whether Marcus Rashford is a center forward or left wing forward or the right wing forward. Well, he can do all the third positions. But in case of that, Anthony Langa see that he will get a difficulty to get a game time at Manchester United. He will not be developed well if he stay at Manchester United. So I think it is a better choice for Anthony Elanga to own loan to Everton or maybe another club. But yeah, I hope this loan project for Anthony Elanga could make him a better player. So the second news is about Betinho. <laughs> my God! Uh, let me let me check on uh, Sky Sport News, uh, Sport Bible News. The title: of Man United fans baffled by random player being added to their Premier League squad. His name is Betinho, forward from Portugal. Twenty-nine years old, I presume. And <clears throat> there's also a statement about. Uh, Manchester United that mentioned by Sport Bible that the Red Devils are not expected to do any permanent business in the January transfer window and any incomings will be lonely. So <clears throat> instead of talking about random player called Betinho, I'm very sure that he is a mistake, maybe an error system from website of Premier League. So I don't want to talk about it, about Betinho, but I do want to talk about the statement from Sport Bible that Manchester United are not expected to do any permanent business in the January transfer window and any incomings will be loanies. So, <clears throat> as we know, the player that could be, uh, you know, get from loanie status is Juan Felix from Atletico Madrid. So, uh, <laughs> from the Twitter of United Plug also mentioned about Juan Felix that he is Manchester United number one target. Well, I don't want to get hesitate. I, uh, I mean, I don't want to get any hype about it because how months that we talk about Frankie de Jong and how many days, weeks, talking about Cody Gakpo. Instead of getting two of them, we get none of them. So this is very frustrating 
for me as a Manchester United player. So when I heard the news about Joao Felix, Joao Felix from Atletico Madrid will come to Manchester United on a loan status. <sighs> I just had enough. <clears throat> so if Joao Felix is going to be at Old Trafford playing for Manchester United, I will be very happy. But if he's not, then screw about it. I don't care. So uh, this is because we have a clueless board. Glazes and the president of the club, John Murtho, Richard Arnold, <clears throat> all the board members, they're just incompetent to get a signings that Eric Ten Hag wanted. So, with many reasons about the policies, the, the, <clears throat> the way they have a business uh, statement about recruiting players only on the summer, not at the January transfer, not at winter transfer. So this is all very frustrating for me as a Manchester United. I bet Eric Ten Hag also get frustrated about all of these policies that are made by Glazers and the board and, and the oil manager. <clears throat> so I hope if if you don't get any Wow Felix, you don't get any Kakpo, you don't get any De Jong, Patino will be okay, man. We need a we need a forward. Somebody play as a number nine. Even Patino. <coughs> I was very happy to have Patino. <laughs> I'm frustrated, man. I'm frustrated. Oh my god. Oh my god. So that that's all I could share to you about Manchester United update news. About <coughs> about Petinho, about Anthony Langa and potential loan deal to Juan Felix. So thank you for watching. See you soon.